month or two after a 70,000 mile service and break job, we had a week of torrential rain. My car was parked outside in the driveway and uh, uphill slope. I went to start the car probably at the end of that week. And the malfunction, first the chassis warning came on momentarily and then the malfunction um, warning came on, which was for all of the AEB system. I drove it a short distance, turned it off, turned it back on, and it was gone, gone for the rest of that day. The next day came on, it wouldn't go off. Turn it on and off, on and off, it wouldn't go off. <clears throat> I had a uh, oil body shop uh, that I had taken another car two years back, who I trusted. They were friends as family. And uh, he put a scanner, and I don't have the reader, the printout of that scanner that was put on. It couldn't identify it, but it seemed to show something in the wiring system. Okay. After after he did that, now I went about two weeks and it was on constantly. After he did that, about four or five days after dry weather, completely dry weather, a little bit of sun, a little bit of warm. I'm in I'm in New Jersey. Uh, all of a sudden, I'm driving. I started up the car, I wasn't paying attention. I was driving and the warning that I had touched the lane lit up and I looked and everything was working perfect. Okay. For about a minute. Okay. Okay. Then it went off again. And it stayed off for a while. And then it did that on and off for a couple of days. This weekend it was on for about a half an hour drive. From work to home. Okay. And then it, it did that to almost the whole week, on and off for a long period of time, then back off. And uh, it started to rain again. The car got wet, and the, uh, the warning came on. And today was a dry day, and it's been off and on a couple of times today. The okay. warning, the, uh, the scanner suggested something in the wiring system, but he did not have uh, something that would identify what wiring. And I've seen some uh, discussion about older cars where the, the, uh, the wiring harness was a problem, but it had a different description of what was wrong. Mm -hmm. In other words, some of the warnings was had to do with signals and brakes and stuff like that, not with the AEP system. I have two questions. Yeah. One is uh, I've read about problems with that system in the 17 and 18 vehicle, and in case some of them were in the 19, uh, I heard that they they were doing some. Uh, upgrades on the system and uh, that seemed to be a fix but I also saw that when people have the problem they've gone from dealer to dealer to dealer to try to get fixed and I'm trying to avoid that I'm trying to go to one place that, that's the most likely to know what the hell they're doing right <clears throat> I got you so your question to me is what? Question is, is, do you feel that it's likely a water problem in the wiring system? Does that sound like, as opposed to the front uh, sonar, which when you click on and off, that one, you know, didn't negate it. Uh, they checked and, you know, when it works, everything works perfect. So it meant the camera was still working. The the sonar lights, the, the uh, car travel, and the blind spot warning was was working, and that, and it most recently did it for about 15, 20 minutes this morning. It was on. 
and today is a nice sunny day, but then it clicks off again. Right. I gotcha. My question is also, uh, are the experts who deal with Nissan auto bodies more likely to have experience with this than an average mechanic at the Nissan dealership? Got it. In other words, just about every time you have a crash, you probably screw up that system, uh, you know, damaging uh, the front sensors or if you break the windshield, the camera, uh, you know, so I, I'm sure that guys that take care of Nissan crashes probably see it often, whereas the general mechanic, I brought to one and he, he pretended like there was nothing ever wrong with the AEB system, and I had just read so much about it that he was, I, I had a sense he was just pushing me away. Mm-hmm. And then I went to, I, then I went to a friend, and he did a, a, a scan. He's a tech guy. He's, a, he's got his own computer company. So it's a young kid that is, uh, he seemed very knowledgeable. And he's the computer guy for the oil body place. Okay. So I'm asking for help. <laughs> sure, I got you. Heard of this problem? Um, have other people called you about it? Yeah, good question. So uh, we don't, you know, we see a fair amount of um, intermittent issues. Actually, we see intermittent issues all the time. Um, this problem could be a, a problem with the wiring harness, or it could be a faulty sensor. And in some cases, this could be a faulty module or computer on board the vehicle. All right. So the only way to know for sure would be to get the codes in the computer using a compatible scan tool, and then run some tests on the particular sensor, the system, or the circuit that that is indicated by the, the codes in the computer. I, if I could get back to you, I could read you what scanner he used. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, I have the, uh, the printout. Okay. Uh, it was performed with a Maxi Sys MS909 ADAS scanner and it was version D402561. He said about 20 or 30 systems lit up, but the ones that didn't clear were um, UT000 looks like 01 can com circuit electrical fault. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, time up. Back up. <clears throat> it starts with a U P okay. like umbrella Paul. U, U, Tom. Okay. U U um umbrella Tom. Three zeros and then a colon and then zero one. I don't even have a listing for that Although code. It might, well, what were you going to say? Oh, you know what? It may be zero one. I mean, you won. You one thousand. There we go. Yeah, that sounds familiar. My eyes don't work. And that's a can, C A N space. C-O-M-M, circuit, electrical fault. And then there was something that said B-2427, right spindle sensor. Oh, wait a minute, don't say past. Well, you still got a B code, though, don't you? What's the, what's the B code? I'm sorry. B what? These are, these, are, these are the ones that didn't clear. I'm sorry. C. Looks like CTA or C1A01 power supply circuit. All 
All right, so I got some information on this one. Let me take a look here. And then there was the, the other one that didn't clear was also C one A fifty colon forty eight A D A S malfunction. C one A fifty, you said. A fifty colon forty eight. Supervision software error. The other, the other numbers I gave you passed. I guess he, he cleared them. He said there were some thirty things initially lit up, but all the rest cleared. <laughs> so if a di this U one thousand, it actually says if a distance sensor is not transmitting or receiving CAN communication signal for two seconds or more. Um, what was that, that B code you were getting? What was that again? B what? Oh, okay. I, I think I misread the, the, the information that I had. Um, But there's a whole list of things that were reviewed and he said he used the term cleared on the paper on the printout it says passed and then the two the ones that i just said are current or crnt so the oil amplifier passed can communication passed center sensor left right uh center sensor the, these are the can the can communication circuit there the right spindle sensor um all these paths and the ones that did not clear was the c1 a01 power supply circuit and the c1 a50 for a ADAS malfunction. Well, this is a communication code. AEB system is canceled, fail safe. I don't have much information on this one. Uh, what, what was the other one? C C one A fifty. And I'm sorry that what, what was the C one? What was the other one? C uh, this, which which uh, this, there was a C one A fifty colon 48 and there was a C1 A01. Check power supply and ground circuit of the ADS control unit refer to diagnostic procedure. Is the result normal? Yes. If the powers and grounds are good, the ADAS control unit needs to be replaced. I bet you that's, that's what's going to have to get done here. Advanced driver assistant system, ADAS. So that's, there's, there's a control unit, and that's what this is indicating. Suspect right rear radar sensor was damaged by incorrect wiring ADAS control unit, luggage compartment area, the connector is wired. So basically what they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to check these, these radar sensors to make sure they're working uh -huh. properly. And if they are, and the powers and grounds are good to this ADAS control unit, and then there's then there that means there is no wiring issue and that means the control unit's bad and the control unit needs to be replaced i see yeah so what he's going to have to do he'll have to use a voltmeter to check the powers on the grounds going into this adas unit confirm that the wiring is good and then replace the unit as as needed i see okay and is that the same thing or, or, or is that part of the the other one that said power supply circuit. I, I think that's what that means. Yeah, let me. Um, I can. I can go back and look it up again here. That that that's the that's the C one A O one. Yeah, C one A A zero one. A zero one. I'm pretty sure that's going to be your power supply circuit to the A yeah the A D A S control u unit. That's correct. So this code does indicate that this could be a wiring issue up to this control unit. 
but the testing for this code basically just says check the powers on the grounds to the ADS control unit, and then if, if everything's normal, replace the ADS ADAS control unit. <laughs> that's all it says. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, so. Uh, I see. And so, uh, does it make sense that uh, it, it might have to do with uh, maybe some lawyer? Yes, it does. Correct. That is correct. And you said it's in your rear. Yes, I think that's in the right rear. I believe that's the image I'm showing here. I think it's in the right rear. You know, that would make sense because uh, I went to look and try to figure stuff out myself. So I went to get my book mm -hmm. and the book seemed to be wet. Oh, okay. In that same spot. Okay. Yeah, they actually, so the image that I'm looking at, it says view with luggage rear plate removed. And then it's got, a, it, it shows the ADS, ADS, ADAS unit back there. So yeah, that sounds about right. If it gets wet, electronics, you know, and, and moisture don't mix. That's for sure. Right. <laughs> that's for sure. Now, uh, is this something, you know, if I go into a shop, they're going to, a regular place is going to handle it. Is it better done in a collision place or? You know, I've never worked at a body shop, so I can't really answer for them. My guess would be this is this is best done at the dealership or independent repair shop that does mechanical work. But you could call a body shop and you could ask them, hey, do you guys have any experience with this ADAS unit on, yeah. on your yeah. vehicle and see what they say? They might say, oh, yeah, we see it all the time or they may have no idea. Um, we don't yeah, see this. It would seem if it was, if it's where it is, it could easily be engine in a rear end collision. Yep. Uh, it's just I'm trying. I'm trying to to have the least amount of trips. I hear you. Different places. Yep. <laughs> and and thank you. You've been extremely helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to help out. But um, now, where do I do from here? Well, you just um, it's up to you. Wherever you want to, I would call around and see what places are equipped to to check and re, and possibly replace this control unit and go from there. Okay. I thank you very, very much. All right. Any, any other thoughts on your end? No, you... no. You just got to pay someone to diagnose and fix the problem, and you'll be good to go. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. All right. You bet. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.